Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKit1313, and welcome to another one of my mod installation tutorials. In this installation, I'm going to be showing you how to install BuildCraft version 3.2.0 pre-release 7 for Minecraft 1.3.2. It just came out either today or yesterday, so I'm going to go ahead and jump on things and show you guys how to install it. Now I'm going to show you how to install it two different ways, being through the Minecraft shortcut, and then another time through MultiMC. Both are really cool, but... You know, just depends what you want to do. Some people like MultiMC more because it's less things that you have to do. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how to install it using the regular way first. You're going to find your .minecraft folder. If you don't know where this is, you're going to go and you're going to go to your start menu. And you're going to type percent app data percent. You're going to press enter and this will take you to your roaming folder. There you go. Once you're to your roaming folder, you're going to click on your .minecraft folder, and you're going to delete it. This will ensure that you get a vanilla copy of Minecraft, because you don't want anything else in your minecraft.jar or your Minecraft folder that could conflict with installing BuildCraft. So the way that you would do this to get a new .minecraft is you would just launch Minecraft, log in, it would download all the packages, and you would have a .minecraft folder. But I happen to have a backup right here, so I'm just going to copy that because it's a little bit faster than downloading, especially since I'm uploading a video currently. Once you have that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go into your .minecraft, you're going to go into your bin folder, and you're going to right click on minecraft.jar. You're going to click open with, and you're going to click open with WinRAR Archiver. You can use WinRAR Archiver, or you can use 7-zip, pretty much any program that allows you to archive things. Archiving program, right? So you're going to click on meta-inf, you're going to press delete, you're going to press enter, and this is going to delete the meta-inf folder. If you don't delete this, you will get a black screen, and nothing will work. Once you have that, you're going to click on Minecraft Forge. I am using Minecraft Forge Universal 4.1.2.265. If there is a more up-to-date version when you are watching this video, go ahead and download that more up-to-date version. But if that doesn't work, go ahead and downgrade to the version that I am using in this video, that way you know that it will work, unless you're doing something wrong. And also make sure that you have the universal version, make sure you don't have the source because that's just telling you how they coded it and it's not going to help you with installing it. What you're going to do is you're going to select everything in here, you could do this either by selecting control A, or what I like to do, because I don't like selecting that, I, don't, I think that's just a random folder, it doesn't actually exist, but I click the first one, I scroll down to the last one, and I hold shift and click that one. Now everything is selected. You're going to click and drag everything over to your minecraft.jar. You're going to click OK. Everything's going to copy. Everything's going to be happy. You're going to exit out of that. You're going to exit out of that. And then you're going to go into your Minecraft launcher. You're going to log in. It's going to load. It's going to do that stuff. That's how you know you did something, right? And then we should get the Mojang screen soon, and then after that, it loads up. There we go, we are running Minecraft 1.3.2, Forge Mod Loader, not Frick My Life, <laughs> uh, version 3.1.15.378, uh, and then we have Minecraft Forge version 4.1.2.265. Two mods loaded, two mods active, you can see those right there. Once you have this, you're going to quick game, because we haven't installed BuildCraft yet. You're going to go back to your .minecraft, and you're going to copy the BuildCraft jar file into your mods folder. So right here, the mods folder, make sure it's not in core mods, but in mods folder. See, buildcraft a 3.2.0, pre-release 7, right in there. Now you can go ahead, launch Minecraft again. Going to log in. It's going to load. Get the Mojang screen, you'll get that thing. Then after, it's, after it loads, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start a new single player world. That way I can just show you that everything has been installed correctly. If you notice, we have 8 mods loaded, 8 mods active. That's because my Buildcraft is actually multiple parts in one. Um, so 8 mods loaded, 8 mods active. Uh, let's go ahead and create a single player world, create new world. Doing creative, create new world. It's going to build terrain, it's going to do all that fun stuff. And now let's go ahead and look at our inventory. If we go here, scroll down, we should eventually see some buildcraft items. So you can see we have the redstone engines, we have the hoppers, we have the lasers, we have the assembly tables, and we can use all of these in our world. It is awesome, wonderful. 
So there you go, you have just installed Buildcraft version 3.2.0. That's really loud. But you have just installed Minecraft, or not Minecraft, but Buildcraft version 3.2.0 using the usual way. Let's go ahead and install it using the MultiMC way. I'm going to quit out of that, press exit, we're going to open up MultiMC, and exit out of that. There's a new build available, I don't feel like doing it right now. Uh, it should be the same way though. So we're going to create a new instance, we're going to add a new instance, and we're going to go Buildcraft. Just same with that. We're going to press OK. We're going to click on our new instance that we just created, right there, Buildcraft. You're going to right click on it, and you're going to click Edit Mods. You have three different options, Jar Mods, Core, core Mods, and Mods Folder. Um, these are similar to the mods that, or the folders that you would find in your .minecraft. In the jar mods, you're going to click and drag Minecraft Forge into there. Make sure it's Minecraft Forge Universal 4.1.2.265. Be sure not to download the source, only get Universal. And then in the mods folder, we're going to go ahead and copy Buildcraft there. It says Buildcraft, it doesn't say a version, oh well. Nothing in the core mods folder because Buildcraft doesn't go in the core mods folder, it goes in the mods folder. We're going to close out of that, we're going to click play. And we're going to blah, 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 blah. we're going to press OK. If only I could talk. It's going to launch. It's going to do all that fun stuff again. And there we go. It loaded up. We have eight mods loaded, eight mods active. Uh, this is because Buildcraft is multiple mods in one. It has different parts, and it sees those parts as different mods. It's loading world building terrain and by opening up the inventory and going to search inventory scroll down and we should see some buildcraft stuff we have our engines we have our hoppers we have our blueprint libraries and we have all our items that come with it the gears all the pipes all that fun stuff we can place all these down and go into the inventories I'm lagging and place all the blocks down so awesome there you go, you have just installed Buildcraft version 3.2.0 using MultiMC. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you, that it has helped you in some way. If something isn't working, like you get an error report, or you get a black screen, or things just aren't going your way, go ahead and check the description. I will have a link to a video that I made of how to send an error report. You're going to watch that video, you're going to find your error report, and you're going to send it to me in a YouTube private message. That way I can look at this uh, error report and try to figure out what you did wrong or what's going on. All right. If you don't do that and you just post a comment in the comment section saying this isn't working, it's not going to help you and it's not going to help me either. I'm probably just going to end up ignoring your comments. So make sure you read the description, please. It has useful information in it. All right. So with that said, I'm going to thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you liked it and do all that fun stuff and be sure to join me next time for more installation tutorials if you have a certain set of mods that you're trying to install you can always send those to me in a YouTube private message as long as they're all updated I'll go ahead play around with them I'll update the kids fig or I'll figure out the configs and I'll make a video on how to install those mods so go ahead and do that subscribe that way you don't miss a video do all that fun stuff and I'll see you all in my next video